What is up everybody? I am B with Prey for Snow Auto Detailing and obviously we have a monster truck to detail. Fun fact, this truck is coming to me off of the heels of a road trip slash camping trip or whatever where they went to the lake. We'll call it a lake trip. Customer went to the lake and got stuck with their boat in tow down by the beach or on the beach and had to get towed out. So while they were getting towed out, they had to have the windows down to communicate and I'm talking mud everywhere. It's on the ceiling. It's on the inside of the window and the door frame and everything, the door jams. It is littered with mud. I've heard the lead truck or the towing truck is in or was in way worse shape, but that's not what is here today. This Ram 2500 is here for a full detail. Obviously, it definitely needs it on the interior, but the exterior as well, we're going to get it completely cleaned out. And this is the first truck detail or the first time I've ever gotten the opportunity to remove personal items from the bed. Let's get to work. This is going to be sick and I'm excited you're here. This vehicle is totally littered with fallout. So we are going to use the pressure washer on the wheel and tire and then we'll spray it with iron remover, dwell, rinse it off, wheel and tire cleaner, of choice today is Adams, and then we'll clean with the brushes, and then we'll move on to the next step. I was absolutely correct. Look at how much purple is just flowing down. There's a good stream of it right here, but also, do you think this is gonna be a pretty muddy detail? Spartacus will probably be really bummed because he did take some time to mop before and then he's gonna have his work cut out for him after. <laughs> Another driver's side wheel was so much fun, I figured I'd get another one on camera, see if it was equally fun. Not only is this the first vehicle that I had to remove personal items from the bed, but it's also the first vehicle that I have actually had to sweep out just because this work box is blocking me from getting to all of the debris under here. I'm going to have to sweep it out. We'll do that really quick. Fun fact, usually when I pull long bed trucks or monster trucks as I like to call them into the garage, because I don't have the space for it, I have to pull it in on an angle and usually I either turn on the reverse camera or the backup camera, not the reverse camera, or I kick it into reverse after I get close to see if I am going to miss the door when I put it down. However, this one didn't have one, so I had to pull the truck in like a pirate captain and stand on the running board and look to make sure I didn't damage my garage and that I made it all the way in. Worked really good. <laughs> the bed was way dirtier than I anticipated it to be, but regardless, we have it cleaned out. Pre-soak, as I mentioned earlier, or pre-wash, we're gonna use Car Pro Lift and we're gonna do the foam cannon method again. Check out how much mud is under here. Let's 
go foam cannoning. I'm going to hand wash using the two bucket method. I have a bucket with shampoo and a bucket to rinse off my washing materials, which is a detailing brush, which are, excuse me, a detailing brush and a microfiber wash mitt. One more time with the foam can, and then we rinse, and then decontaminate. And by the way, the decontamination is gonna be sick. Why I chemically decontaminate before I do the physical decontamination. Physical decontamination can be a little bit rough on the paint, so you want to remove as much iron as possible prior to doing the physical decontamination step. Little rust particles like that, they're all over. I don't know how well they'll show up on camera, but basically this truck is littered. So we use Adam's iron remover. We just spray it on the paint and then we let it dwell not for too long. Right now it's hot in Utah and it is very, very dry. I was right. Now this spot is actually rust, so that's kind of cheating, but it still looks cool. Let's rinse this off. I'm going to dry using what I call the hybrid method, which is half, or half, I guess not half. I dry first with the gauntlet here from the rag company, and then I will follow this up with the Adams Air Cannon, and I will get in any spot that this rag cannot reach and it does a really good job to get it dry so that I can do the decon physical decontamination step as well as remove all the oils and then protect the paint. I've got Optimum No Rinse as a clay lube, Chemical Guys clay bar, and just check out how much contamination is still in here even after the spray decontamination or chemical decontamination. So we will spray on our clay loop, get it on our clay bar as well, and then lightly, we're just gonna work it over and let it pull that contamination out of the clear coat. Making sure that I don't pick up anything that I'm going to not swirl because I'm not using circular motions, but that I'm going to rub into the clear coat and paint and damage it. And then once I'm done with that, I just use my microfiber towel to wipe that optimum no rinse off and it looks amazing and is ready to be paint protected, of course, after an IPA wipe down. Let's check out how beautiful this looks. Free of iron, really popping white. Let's go over, I haven't done, just because there's so much on here, I haven't done the driver's side door over here. Look at how bad that is. I know there's a pretty bad reflection. Look at down here. It is miserable with iron fallout. So 
we'll do this door, but I just wanted to show you the difference and how much of an impact it actually makes on the paint. It really does make it pop, which is a perfect step right before we do the paint protection. It was so much work, but this turned out so great after the decontamination, the physical decontamination. All that iron is just gone and it's beautiful. There's some little chips and stuff, but with 100,000 miles, you expect some manner of damage. Let's remove the oils. We're gonna do that with an IPA wipe down. With my beautiful bride, <laughs> with my beautiful bride, I did some re figuring of the cupboards and throwing away some garbage and we cleaned up the shelves a little bit. I have mentioned before that I have a bunch, because I always forget about the surface prep that comes with the ceramic kits. I have four full bottles. So we're gonna use this as a surface prep today so that I'm not wasteful. So far, only the Ford Maverick has figured out how to do badging. Just a personal opinion. Isn't this truck absolutely stunning? What do you think? Without a doubt. What do you think? Yes. Let's paint protect with Adam's graphene ceramic spray coating in the advanced formula. The interior of this Ram is thrashed as promised by the customer. The mud from that boating incident is, <laughs> it's everywhere. I think, I don't know about the worst place, but one of the worst places is right here on this door, obviously right there. Customer did say that they worked on it for a little while to get it clean, but check this out. Oh no. It's going to be so sick to detail this. I am super pumped. Uh, it does have both the mats. So it's got, it looks like WeatherTech mats and then the, the normal cloth mats or fabric mats. So we'll take those out first and I'll remove all the personal items. There's a bunch of hats. They look like two, they are a hat collector. <laughs> Let's just get all this stuff out and being silly. change do you think is in here? Comment below with your guess and we'll figure out in a second, but don't cheat because that's lame. Not money. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight dollars, even, 35 cents, 45 cents, 55 cents, and three. So, eight, 50, Eight. If that was your guess, you're awesome. I can't really give you anything, but thanks for playing. Invisible Super Cleaner from Chemical Guys. Actually, a really solid APC interior cleaner. Armor all. Not gonna give my opinion on that. Cleaning the floor mats with a pressure washer 
and of course brushes. And we're going to use a drill brush too. You can see these carpet floor mats are really in great shape. Even the RAM is still close to the original color. Obviously the credit, credit should be given to those rubber floor mats, those WeatherTech ones that protected it. We're still going to clean them. We are going to first vacuum them, then apply the carpet cleaner, which is the foaming citrus carpet cleaner from Chemical Guys. We use a drill brush to agitate and then extract with the Sandia extractor, which is always sick. As aforementioned, there is a ton of mud from the situation I have already spoken about where the customer was stuck on the beach. So also, I give my customers the option if I'm going to remove, or if I'm going to extract the seats, I'm going to remove the seat covers and I'm not gonna put them back on just because I want the seats to be able to dry fully before the customers put the seat covers back on. This customer actually cleaned the seats before putting these seat covers on and requested that I leave the seat covers as is. So we're gonna clean them as they sit, try and get all this mud off, and then, yeah, we're just gonna vacuum first and then we'll do the carpet extraction.
on B's ever epic scale of carpet extractions with one being clean soapy water and 10 being dirty, dirty chocolate milk consistency and color. This Ram 2500 ranks a four. There were a couple spots that were dirty, but mostly it was just kind of bland. Those huge floor mats are definitely owed the credit because they absorbed a lot of the filthiness and the carpets didn't have to get so abused. <laughs> this is probably the dirtiest plastic I've cleaned in a very long time. I'm trying to think of another vehicle that was worse. I don't know, but I did use, or I did grab my old microfiber towels because I plan on using a ton of them because this is like straight mud. It's pretty bad. So we're gonna use APC detailing brush. Obviously, we are going to use a steam cleaner. Then I have the microfiber towels. This is gonna take a bit. It's already taken a bit. This has been an awesome detail, but a challenging one. So let's keep going and see how this turns out. Dress the plastics, I'm going to use Car Pro Pearl. windows using streak free from chemical guys a microfiber towel and fingernail clippers <laughs> I would like to take some time to thank the customer. Thank you, Epic customer, for bringing me this truck. It was thrashed and you said that it was dirty. You did not disappoint. I hope you like the results. And of course, I hope you like this video.
I started on this detail late. It is literally, what time is it? 5.22 in the morning. I'm detailed on my head. I'm tired. Subscribe. Click on this other video if you want to watch more of my content. Don't forget to detail that like button if you like the video. We'll see you on the next one.